What's up guys, welcome to another Misfit Garage video. Uh, we're in front of the Pro R again. Today we are gonna go over the front bulkhead gusset kit, which will work on the Pro R or Turbo R. Basically the goal of this kit is to strengthen up your chassis where the suspension mounts to it. And it also comes with bolts that are more properly shanked to uh, help you from wobbling out holes and things like that. Here's the list of tools that you will need. You can go ahead and pause the video right now and check that out. But you're gonna start by using the T40 Torx, taking the plastics off, and then using the 15 mil socket to get the bumper off here in a second. And then you'll also use a 10 mil socket to take the small body brackets off. All right, now that we got the plastics and bumper out of the way, now we can start with the front bolts, uh, which is just a 21 socket and wrench. Once you have those all loose, you can go ahead, get yourself a jack and jack it up. It'll help kind of loosen this up and come out easier. While I'm jacking the car up, I'd like to explain why we originally designed this kit. In the past, we've had a lot of cars come into the shop with wallowed out holes or even just completely ripped off mounts from the chassis. So we wanted to make something that would help protect that and strengthen everything up and hopefully prevent that from happening. And I also have a shot of our bolt next to the stock bolt, just a longer shank all around, just a better bolt ready to go. And our bolt has a bigger head, so it is the 22 mil socket. So one more thing that's not necessarily required, but we kind of suggest doing it, is if you got the chance, put some red Loctite on the nuts and also do some anti-seize on the bolts. The anti-seize just makes it a lot easier when you're pulling it out later on. It's not all rusted and stuck in there. And obviously red Loctite will just make sure it stays tight. So that's the front gusset installed. That's all tightened up and done for now. Obviously we have to put the bumper and plastics on the front, but for now we're gonna go back to the back side and get those gusset plates on. This is the bracket for the rear part of the lower arm. One thing you wanna make sure is that bend is facing forward because if you put it backwards, it will run to the drive line. So just be sure it's facing forward and then you should be good. This is the rear bracket for the upper arm. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Just snaps into place and put the nuts on. Once that's all tightened up, you can go ahead and start putting the front end back together, putting the bumper and plastics back on. And if you ordered our uh, dual light pod bracket kit with that, you can go ahead and put that on as well at this time.
And like I've said in past videos, I prefer to run this in by hand as far as I can and then use a ratchet just to make sure that I don't cross thread those threads into the chassis. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped out. We truly appreciate all the support. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.